Hi everyone, my name is Marcus and I'm an immigration attorney. Welcome back to our O-1 visa mini-series. So today we're gonna to be talking about the evidentiary criteria when it comes to the organization's part of it. Uh, this video is not an overview of the O-1 visa. If you're looking for that, please look in the comments below. I sort of like put this little link there to a, like our O-1 overview video. But today we're gonna to be talking specifically about organizations. So before I start babbling on about this part, let's take a look at the actual text of the O-1 visa criteria when it comes to the organizations. Evidentiary criteria number three, performed and will perform in a lead, starring, or critical role for organizations and establishments that have a distinguished reputation as evidenced by articles in newspapers, trade journals, publications, or testimonials. The keywords here are performed and will perform, lead, starring, or critical role for organizations that have a distinguished reputation. So as you can see, there are three basic parts to this. First of all is performed and will perform in the future. So two things, it's already done in the past and you're gonna be doing this in the future. What exactly are you gonna be doing? You're gonna be playing a lead, starring, or critical role for organizations that are distinguished. So let's break it down, lead, starring, critical. So lead and starring role for an organization means that you're really um, high up in the organization. So lead and starring means like you're the CEO, you're the chief operating officer, you're the artistic director, that sort of thing. Critical role, however, doesn't necessarily mean that your role is high up in the organization. It just means that you played a really fundamental role to like the organization's success, to bringing them things like more press, more claim uh, maybe it's because like you're a celebrity and because of your name you're able to like bring more attention towards the organization that sort of thing but you also need to show that the organization itself is considered distinguished so how do you show that an organization is considered distinguished an organization is distinguished if there is something like a long-standing track record if they make a lot of money if they get a lot of press, a lot of interviews about the organization, that sort of thing. In general, the more documentation you have, the more likely the immigration is gonna find that the organization is distinguished. If the organization was just set up yesterday, okay, most likely not distinguished. If the organization was set up in like, I don't know, the 70s or something, it's been going on for a really long period of time, then I would say yes, most likely that immigration is gonna find that this organization is considered distinguished. So you wanna give them things like the history of the company, uh, maybe like the tax returns of the company. You wanna give them things like, is there any press about the organization, about its mission, about its work, that sort of thing. So the more documentation you have, the better. Now going back to the whole performed and will perform in the future part. So let's say, you know, you're the lead of the company, meaning CEO of the company or something like that. You have to show that you're going to be playing this lead role or critical role for this organization in the future as well. So usually, remember the contracts, we talked about the contracts in, the, in other videos. Usually you want to show things like maybe this organization is giving you a contract to work for them in the future as well. And also you need to show that this organization is most likely going to be distinguished in the future as well. So you want to give them documentation about, you know, maybe future events about the organization uh, to prove that the organization is going to continue and keep building and they're not like going to collapse tomorrow or something like that. And that's pretty much it when it comes to the organization's criteria. So if you have any questions, I would love to hear them. Please put them in the comments below and I will see you soon.